Hey everybody, Scott from Platter Talk here. Today we're making uh, a Polish traditional food called pierogi. Um, these I grew up with as a child, and my mom got the recipe from her mom, and I'm sure that her mom got the recipe from her mom. Uh, these pierogi were traditionally served during the Easter uh, during the Easter holiday and the weeks leading up to Easter, called Lent. And traditionally, they are meatless, and so on Fridays we would have these as children. Um, as a special treat. Uh, pierogies are the best way for me to describe them to you is probably like a Polish ravioli and so we would uh, have these these great little um, pockets of a potato and cheese stuffed ravioli or Polish ravioli pierogi. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm making them for you. Now again I've kind of beefed these up a little bit um, and I've added some bacon to them so if you are going to be serving these during the during Lent, you can just go ahead and take the, the bacon out. So what I have here is the, the filling that I've already pre-made for you. Uh, it, it has uh, potato, uh, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, sour cream, sautéed onions, and some bacon. And what I like to do is I like to mix it all together. I like to let them, uh, let the potato mixture kind of cool down a little bit. And then I roll them into little balls so it makes it easier that when I'm assembling everything that I can get everything uh, assembled a little bit faster because now I have my filling all done. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this and I'll be back in just a few minutes and I'll show you how to roll out the dough and how to get these things filled. Well, welcome back. As you can see, I've got the filling pre-rolled already and I've actually started to make some of the proggies out the side here, but I wanted to show you how to roll out the dough. So the proggy dough is actually a very simple dough, dough to make. It's actually just um, a cup of flour, an egg, uh, a pinch of salt, and a couple tablespoons of sour cream. And what I like to do after I put it together is I like to put it into the refrigerator to let it rest for a while. Um, as you can see, it's, it looks almost just like a pie dough, but it's a little bit more elastic than that uh, because of the sour cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. And just like you're rolling out a pie dough, you're going to try to keep it into a circular shape. And I'm going to kind of just turn it as you go. You want to get the dough relatively thin, or as thin as you can. Um, and the other thing that's important as well is you want to make sure that you kind of keep the top as clean as possible because we will be sealing these up as we make them. I'm just going to continue to roll this out real quick here. Um, I like to, there's no really fancy tools to use when you're doing this. I like to use just a, a basic drinking glass that we have around the house. And again, you can use as big or as small as you want. And as you can see, the dough is nice and elastic. As I'm rolling it out, it's kind of coming back at me. And that's exactly what you, what you want. All right, so the dough's pretty good as far as the thickness. I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm just going to lift it up to make sure it's not sticking. And I'm going to take my hand and clean that off. I'm going to take my glass and I'm just going to go ahead and cut my circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull it just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to take my filling and put my filling in there. The one thing with pierogies is that um, they have to seal because you are going to boil these to kind of pre-cook them and then you're going to fry them and if you don't seal them properly uh, they will fall apart. Now what I do is I do use a little bit of water to help do that and as you can see because the dough is elastic it's allowing me just to go ahead and seal this up. And I'm going to just, if you notice what I'm doing is I'm pushing the, the filling just in there a little bit and I'm going to just use my fingers and make sure that I have a nice seal happening here. You can use a fork if you want to. If you're a little bit more comfortable with that, you can kind of put it down and fork down your edges. It makes it look pretty as well. Um, I do that sometimes. But the nice thing about this is, you know what, even if they do open up, they're still delicious, and that's part of the fun of it as well, because then you'll have one to eat right away. So there you go. It's just a proggy. I've got about another 150 of them to make or so. Um, and I'm just going to continue this process. The next process is just dropping them into some boiling salted water. Uh, that will cook the dough and then from there you can refrigerate them. You can put them in the freezer if you'd like um, and save them for another day. Um, and then you, you fry them in some butter. So this recipe you have to try. It's delicious. And again, thanks for joining us today. Scott from Platter Talk.